Okay, we're going to continue with our discussion on replenishing the earth, the ministry life cycle, and we're going into the subject called growth. Uh, so, just be, we'll be excited about growing in this process. Alright, so when considering growth, you'll have to look into development. There are a variety of things that actually grow in development, in the development stage of growth. And, um, the scripture in 2 Timothy 3 verse 18 says, Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, the, even the process associated with you um, getting better in your spirituality involves uh, some aspect of growth. Um, and of course, if you don't grow and mature, then you can actually get stuck in this development stage. So um, there should be some sort of measurement that assesses how well you grow. Um, in the area of music and arts ministry, it's important for you to stay relevant. And one of the things that can be done is taking classes in your area. Uh, I typically recommend there's there should be about two or three years worth of coursework that goes into the development of any particular gift. And then there should be some continuing education that goes on um, that just continues that person in that particular gift as a practitioner of the gift. Um, along with courses um, studying the Word of God, I would also recommend that there should be at least a week or two that you do nothing but study the Word of God throughout the year. That means no pho no cell phones, no mobile phones, no, um, no phone, no email, no text, anything. Just go and find a place where you can just be studying the Word um, eight hours a day, five to seven days a week. Um, fat, fasting and prayer are also extremely essential. Jesus went and did fasting and prayer. And um, fasting and prayer is intended to give you more insight into the plans of God and how he intends to use that gift. And, then, and through that fasting, especially through the prayer, you can allow the Holy Spirit to stir up the gift for ministry. Um, the reason the last three are extremely important... Well, they're all, all four points are important, but the last three points are extremely important because um, if you don't um, stir up the gift, you can become a little bit under, underdeveloped in your ministry, uh, pouring out of perhaps just gift. Um, and so it's kind of twofold. You have to stir up the gift and you have to make yourself relevant else you could be pouring out of just one portion of your um, gift and anointing. You might be heavy gift, minimal anointing, or heavy anointing, minimal gift. You want to make sure that the development is balanced. And with that, we're going to go over to our first lesson, our first assignment um, for um, this particular season here. And in this assignment, uh, we're going to be dealing with the aspect of spiritual deformity. The first discussion question is, what does spiritual deformity look like? So take some time and just see what spiritual deformity looks like, especially in your area, in your gifting. And then the second question that needs to be answered is, how can deformities become exposed with spiritual growth? Experience in the next level, for example. So um, in your growing, it's expected that you go from one level to the next. And if you have a deformity... Um, how does that get exposed even more if it's not handled? And, you know, what's the recommendation um, to cover up any deformities? All right, we'll see you next week.